right, hello everybody and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Um, we've got a controversial problem that shows up all the time on the internet. Uh, there's this problem, there's several others that are similar uh, in nature to this, but it's 8 divided by 2 times the quantity 2 plus 2 equals what? Um, there's a lot of controversy on this problem, a lot of arguing uh, online. Um, personally, I've stayed out of the out of the fray, but I've seen this problem show up again. It just keeps uh, rehashing itself every every few months. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and just kind of cover this one really briefly um, and give my perspective on it. Not just my perspective, but uh, perspective of, of quite a few people um, who understand mathematics even better than I do. But um, we will cover it. If you want to pause the video and try to work this one out on your own, um, with whatever method you think is correct, go ahead and do that. You can pause the video. We'll come back and we'll look at it together. <clears throat> okay, so um, this problem continues, like I said before, it continues just to show up on the internet. Um, it incites a lot of controversy. Uh, and it, a lot of it has to do with the acceptance or the lack of acceptance of this convention that's known as implicit multiplication. Um, it's also widely known as multiplication by juxtaposition. And what I mean by implicit multiplication is that it's talking about um, whenever you have parentheses and a number outside of the parentheses, it's always implied that you're multiplying by what's inside of those parentheses. Uh, and juxtaposition just means that you're juxtaposed or you're next to the, the parentheses. Just kind of a fancy way of saying that. Um, now... The order of operations convention, how it's typically taught um, and been taught for quite a while, um, um, yeah, at least here in North America, you know, elsewhere in the world as well, I have to say, it's it's pretty clearly defined. Um, however, th there is an historical precedence for a lesser known convention um, that attributes a higher priority to multiplication um, that's implicit. And again, uh, people people will argue passionately over this issue, and um, for the most part, I don't care about either argument um, because we have two conventions here um, that have a little disagreement uh, and brings up an ambiguity that that really does exist. Um, and pe but people will use that ambiguity in the wrong way. Uh, there's quite a few people out there who do not understand the order of operations. And they just solve everything left or right. Uh, and then when you bring up the fact that, no, there's this order of operations you need to follow, a lot of times people will go and they'll find some article from some Berkeley professor or somebody that, that's talking about multiplication by juxtaposition. Uh, and they'll go ahead and they'll send me a link or they'll send somebody else a link saying, well, look, this just shows that it's all just ambiguous. The whole thing's ambiguous but they don't really understand what they're forwarding when they say that. We're talking about one specific thing here, which is called implicit multiplication. Uh, if you look at any of the videos, the 200 plus videos I've done, um, I make all my multiplication explicitly written. I use the multiplication symbol uh, in those videos. So there's no ambiguity in those problems. Um, and of course, some people argue that there's no ambiguity. You know that implicit multiplication is a farce, and so on. But um, but you know, I will just say there there is historical context for it uh, that that really needs to be mentioned. You know, whether you agree with it or not. I mean, it would be great if we would just settle on a convention and stick to that one convention. But um, there there's plenty of books out there that will accept it, not accept it. There's calculators that will accept uh, implicit multiplication. There's a lot of them that don't. Um, so anyhow, um, again, people will use this argument about implicit multiplication to try to tarnish the entire convention of order of operations, which, which also silly. Uh, and the people that try to do that really don't understand what they're doing. Uh, when they do that. But um, again, when, when this topic comes up, what is implicit multiplication? What is multiplication by juxtaposition? Well, they're the same thing, really. Um, it's, it means there's implied multiplication, again, by between the 2 and the 2 plus 2 that's in 
parentheses. This is always implied to be a multiplication. Now, according to the order of operations convention, multiplication uh, and division are always solved from left to right uh, in the order that they're encountered. So, you know, you may have heard of acronyms like PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, or BIDMAS uh, if you live in an English-speaking country. Um, these are all just different acronyms that all describe the same order of operations. Um, there's just some slightly different terms used. Uh, no different answer. Uh, PEMDAS and BODMAS will give you the same answer. It's just typically in North America. They reference it through uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Uh, whereas like in the UK with BODMAS, it's uh, brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Uh, and again, I don't want to get too deep into all these acronyms, but a lot of people confuse these because they think the order of the M and the D or the D and the M makes any difference, and it doesn't. Uh, multiplication and division have equal precedence regardless of which acronym you follow. Also, addition and subtraction have equal precedence, and uh, addition and subtraction have the same order. You just go left to right. It doesn't matter. Actually, addition and subtraction, it makes no difference which order you do those. Um, so, yeah, that's a whole different topic where people get confused and uh, some people will try to tell you that BODMAS gives you a different answer than PEMDAS, and it, it just, all that does is it just shows they don't know what they're talking about. Um, I've got other videos on the subject if you want to check those out. <clears throat> However, like I said before, there, there is historical context uh, in the prioritization of implicit multiplication, which uh, then takes higher priority over the left and right solving of multiplication and division. Um, in the, you know, in both cases, whether you're using, uh, whether you believe in implicit multiplication or not, I don't really care if you do. I'm just describing these two different uh, things that are actually have been out there. Um, but in either case, you solve what's inside the parentheses first, which is the two plus two. Two plus two is four. So regardless of what you believe or what you follow, that is always done first. And now here's where it gets a little flaky for some <coughs> by according to multiplication by juxtaposition you would do you would solve the juxtaposition multiplication first before doing the division so you basically break that left to right concept of multiplication and division and you would actually do that multiplication first uh, which would be then two times four which would be eight leaving you with 8 divided by 8 equals 1. So if I see somebody leaving an answer online and they say the answer is 1 and they're citing, you know, multiplication by juxtaposition, um, you know, I could say, well, yeah, that's, you know, you're using that, that's fine. Uh, now, some people just blindly solve left to right, uh, which would be incorrect. If I you know, there are people out there that don't understand multiplication by juxtaposition, and they're just simply going 8 divided by 2 is 4, uh, and, and or I don't know what they're doing, actually. But people who are going left to right um, are, are not necessarily going to get the right answers a lot of the time. Now, according to the, the, the standard order of operations, which it does not, you know, recognize, it doesn't take into account implicit multiplication, the answer would be 16, and the reason would be because you do the 2 plus 2 first, which is 4, uh, but then the next operation, you go left to right. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So that makes perfect sense. Now, of course, that's not recognizing implicit multiplication. Um, what confuses things a little bit more is that there are certain scientific calculators out there I think there's some cat. I don't recall the models. There's some other YouTube videos that go into more detail uh, and actually show some of the manuals and documentation from the calculators. But there are some ca Casio calculators. I think there's even some TI versions of some scientific calculators that actually recognize multiplication by juxtaposition and actually give it a higher priority. Um, there are some pictures out there online. Uh, showing two different answers, 16 or 1, uh, and these are not from, I'm not, these are not from dollar store calculators, 
These are actually from scientific calculators that are actually set up to handle um, um, multiple operations um, or, you know, yeah, the order of operations convention. Um, <clears throat> we have to be really careful on calculators again, and that's a whole nother subject too, because, you know, cheap, cheap dollar store calculators really don't allow you to enter in multiple operations and, and get the correct answer. Um, so a lot of people end up getting wrong answers and they trust uh, a calculator that they don't understand how to use properly. So that's a whole nother story. But there are scientific calculators that do recognize multiplication uh, by juxtaposition. Um, and although you can point to it as an ambiguity, um, it, it doesn't negate the entire order of operations convention, uh, which is something a lot of people do try to do. Um, now, um, there's there's a whole other thing here. It's not just this controversy over implicit multiplication. There's a thing that's called the dreaded obelisk, I'd like to refer it as, which the obelisk is the division symbol. Um, this whole controversy on this particular problem extends way beyond uh, multiplication by juxtaposition. Um, the, uh, the obelisk itself, the division symbol, has been interpreted differently um, over the centuries. Uh, for example, you've got uh, Yo Johann Rahn uh, was a Swiss mathematician uh, who was, I believe, credited with the first use of the division sign. Uh, he wrote a book called Teutsch uh, Algebra <clears throat> back in uh, 1659. And um, the way he interpreted the obelisk was that everything to the left of the symbol was considered being in a numerator, everything to the right of that symbol was considered being uh, in the denominator. So um, if you look at the way uh, he interpreted it, that would be considered eight over, and then you have two times two plus two. And in doing that, you would get an answer of one. And now that interpretation actually continued on uh, in some other mathematics books, I don't recall uh, the exact ones, but I've seen other references to other books, at least going into the late 1800s where this interpretation was used. Uh, and the obulus, although in, uh, in a, lot of, a lot of Western civilization it is used as division, uh, most people interpret it as just dividing what's uh, immediately to the left with what's immediately to the right, uh, which as we did before it would be 8 divided by 2, um, but it is looked at differently in other places, um, and it has been looked at differently in the past. So that does add some confusion, um, which kind of leads to where, uh, uh, in a lot of circles, the obelus is not even recommended for use. I think there's an ISO, International Standards Organization, there's something out there recommending not using the obelus at all, uh, and more, uh, you know, uh, not using that as a division symbol. Um, also in the notes of the video, I linked to an article from, it's from the Clarksville uh, Leaf Chronicle, I think it's back from 2019, uh, that covers this particular problem that keeps popping up. Um, and it, it's kind of worth a quick read. It, it does talk about the obulus. Uh, and I got a link to the video. Uh, it's a pretty good explanation. It's from uh, James Church, who's an assistant uh, professor of computer science at Austin P. Uh, P or pay, I'm not sure on that state university, uh, and he goes through that um, uh, the controversy and the use of the obelisk because a lot a lot of people when they see this problem, the argument always centers around the multiplication by juxtaposition, uh, and and often it doesn't even consider this whole other controversy over the obelisk. So um, it's about a three and a half minute video I think that's linked to uh, in that article, and it's worth taking a look at. So uh, again, I don't really have a horse in this game. You know, you've got you got these two confliction conflicting concepts, and actually even up to a third conflicting concept um, with the order of operations. But it, it's all really first of you know centered around this multiplication by juxtaposition, and then also the use uh, of the obelisk. So it's worth a read, um, and uh, we'll go from there. But um, yeah, I hope you stick around for some of the other videos. I've got more out there. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. 
and I do hope to see everybody in the next video.